sasa so, kuanguka chini side moja hiyo kidonda kwenye alishona ikatokana na hawakuambia ule surgeon mm-hmm. so mimi waliniokota mbio wakanirudisha kwa kitanda na wakanifundisha wakanifunika wakaenda So good evening and welcome our viewer to the gorgeous woman show always a joy and a delight to have you join us and listen and share in the stories that our gorgeous women always bring it's always a, a pleasure and a joy to be a host of such a great movement of women that have been through pain but they've decided they will not hide under the pain they want to help other people come out of their pain and heal faster and i think the the greatest motivation is to make them know that even though you're going through hard times they still hope that there will be light at the end of the tunnel so as always i have a, a gorgeous woman a guest her name is victoria wanjiro she's been through name it surgery um sexual abuse been through pain been through some very tragic things but here she is to testify of the goodness of god so don't touch that dial show with your friends and family let them know the gorgeous woman show is happening live on ctn tv and of course on our facebook our handles so karibu sana victoria asante it's a joy to have you so can you tell us uh, who is victoria wanjiro um uh, okay naitwa victoria wanjiro nambura yeah. yeah i'm 23 years old ah nice yeah na mm-hmm. mimi ni mama ya mtoto mmoja mm-hmm. a baby boy ako 3 years yes uh, i was born and brought up in dandora mhm uh, born to uh, okay brought up by a single parent mm-hmm. my mom mm-hmm. we are a family of three my mom my big brother and i mm-hmm. and yeah so that's pretty much it ah great <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is a good story so how your brother is how older or like minimum how how many years you're older ah uh, he's like over 10 years older than me ah yeah. wow <laughs> so you almost acted like almost the the role model or sometimes almost became father yeah he was practically my dad oh wow yeah. how is your relationship with him We are close. Mm-hmm. I'd say I'm closer to my brother than I am to my mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Reason he's, he's being a, he's approachable. Yes. And he always listens. Mm-hmm. Like he takes time to listen even when you're not making sense, he will listen. Mm-hmm. Listen to you through the end and mm-hmm. then at a co advice accordingly. Yeah. Na mali kuna need correction. Yeah. Ana kukosoa pia. Yeah. 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 It's a very good testimony about your brother. And how about your your son? How is your relationship? With, how does it feel to be a mother? First of all. Um I wouldn't say it okay, it's a work in progress. Yes. Because uh I'm still learning to to love him because kwa ile nje alikuja nayo. Yeah. It's not si rahisi ati nikuje tu akuje kama nimemwembrace mara moja mm-hmm. but okay nampenda nampenda sana but sometimes na feel to is a constant reminder of some pain yeah. Yeah. yeah wow that is so honest and so deep mm-hmm. and i believe the lord will work with you and walk with you through that journey of course he's innocent mm-hmm. and as you have said you love him mm-hmm. that is what matters most yeah. um so uh, are you born again do you have a relationship with jesus oh, yes i forgot to mention yes i am i'm born again yes uh uh kitambo and i was still young i was raised in dandora baptist church mm-hmm. so uko ndio niligroia nikaokoka mhm and Okay background yangu imekuwa a Christian background all yes. along. Mhm. Eh tuseme kitu kama hiyo. Na Dandora how was it like growing up in Dandora? Cuz I can imagine it's a crazy <laughs> place. There is a lot of people. Mm, there is a lot that, that happens there. Mm. So how was it like? 
Uh, it it was a handful naweza sema because yeah. uh, kuna zile moments tu zenye nipoa mm. na kuna zile zenye ni sad na tragic because hata ndio okay sahi siko dandora sahi naishi karibu bangi south mm-hmm. tunaishi karibu bangi south because bado naishi na mom but mm-hmm. we had to move out of dandora after ile post election ya 2007 to 8 yeah. So kulikuwa na clashes between the Kikuyus and the Luos na it wasn't nice. It was nice, yeah. So ilikuwa hard sana kuona rafiki yako mwenye mlikuwa mnasoma na yeye anakugeuka and they want you dead. Oh, and so it I, was that bad. Yes, it was. But to say at a dump site by then ilikuwa supermarket kwetu. Kwa nini? <laughs> Because ndege zilikuwa zinakuja zina drop vitu wanakuja kutupa sijui ni za airport ama ni wapi. Mm. Sisi yao na sisi ni watu wii unaenda unachambua unapata uliko unapata hadi iPod, hizi electronic devices unapata food. Ah. Na tulikuwa tunakula. Na mlikuwa mnakula and you just came out fine. Kabisa. Wow. What a testimony from my guest Victoria Wanjiro. Her story is touching tragic but still they still beauty from those ashes so see you after the break so welcome back our viewer my guest again is victoria wanjiro and she's sharing her story about going through abuse going through medical surgeries you know having a child at the age of 19 it's been a journey and she wants to share it with us and she's not very old she's only 23 but she has a story to tell so uh, you are telling me that those ravens were kama zile za Elijah zilikuwa zinaokota vitu kwa dam side zinawaletea kabisa and uh, it was normal for you to eat food and all stuff from the dam side hata huko na gonjeka na tuko hata tuna diwom sasa kitu kingine <laughs> eh yes, eh to maybe neza sema ilikuwa negative jubro alisomea dandora secondary school mm-hmm. na ukuta yao ya, ya shule na classrooms na uwanja mm. iko tu imeshikana na dam site penye dam site imeishia ndio mm. penye ukuta imeanzia mm. mpaka wa leo alipata shida ya kifua oh eh, so ju hizo vitu zinakaanga unasikia tu zimewaka moto zinatoa moshi zenyewe tu sasa ni kama kwa oh, zinawaka tu zenyewe chemicals zina react tu Oh. Na kule katikati juu pia kuna mahali pia ungefika. Eh. Basa hii I think ilitolewa. Sasa hii iko. Uh, ye, yeah, hiyo ni ni boma iko hii hata sidhani kaita haito. Unaita boma? Eh. Oh, kwa nini? Imekuwa <laughs> <laughs> ngatu hivyo. Imekuwa ngatu hivyo. Eh. Okay. So wow. i, ilikuwa tu ilikuwa fun mm. because by then kulikuwa kuna pitika mm. but kulikuwa na challenges tu ku grow ya Dandora juu Luko naenda unapatana hata na mtu ametoa mtoto amemweka ndani ya paper bag ya green. Sasa so, unapata anakuliwa na nguruwe na dogi. Wow. So ilikuwa tu it was it was not an easy time of course. Ilikuwa mdogo. Eh. Ito zingine ku comprehend ilikuwa nini ngumu. Eh but ukikuwa mkubwa that's Yo, when it really like reflects eh, eh. yeah. So okay. lakini hiyo kusoma na nini mm. ilikuwa tu poa. Okay. Eh, na mabeshte pia na mambo ya crime na madrugs huko. He, huko kwanza hapo kwenye nini uwanja iko. Mm. Uh, kuna mtu najua mm. hata alipelekwa rehab. Alikuwa anasoma hiyo Dandora Secondary. Mm-hmm. Because saa ya break ana sneak out. Sasa ndio ameka perimeter wall by then mm-hmm. ilikuwa fence na ni high school. Mm-hmm. Ana sneak out anaenda na anatumia madre na huko anarudi. So ikafika point huyo mse hata ajiwezi kulikuwa na instances hata kama si mimi nilinini zileni nini nili witness directly mm. kulikuwa na instances zenye watu wana bring magans kwa shule ah. because eh, mwenye unasoma na yeye yes ni student lakini tuseme tu kuna venya kwa na side hustle so ye yeah, ameshinda ki hustle the whole night na asubuhi anafaa kwa class saa ya anavaa tu uniform anaingia na kaa chini ama hata anazunguka aki, aki, aki hustle nayo na hiyo hustle una imagine ni gani na already watu wanajua okay hata ukijua uwezi ongea juu ukiongea si juu hata ku, hata ku, nini tu hata kutafuta tu Azini, so kulikuwa ine. na a lot of bullying as well 
as in ukijua ikweni umempeana umeka life yako at risk familia mm. yako mtu anaweza kuwa hurt yeah. so unaona tu afadhali unyamazie kama itajulikana istoke na wewe ah yeah. okay what they mean waliko watu wengi ama watu walikuwa wengi kuna wenye hawakuwa na shtuka na kuna mwenye anajua kuficha white sasa kuna mwenye hata akikuja ni innocent kabisa hata mkisikia ati alifanya hivi hata wengine walikuwa nauliwa mm. kama kuna msana tulisoma na e primary mm-hmm. alikuja kauliwa because ali join hizo nini magangs eh yeah. mm-hmm. sasa akakuja kauliwa na alikuwa msana mdogo sana alikuwa my classmate kabisa so ukiangalia mwenye aliuliwa na mwenye unajua those were two kabisa, different people kabisa eh. ah wow and mm. teachers were, were aware of what was happening or they were not teachers uh, i'm not so sure because mara mingi inafanyika nje ya shule ah okay eh. so shule unasema like wakikuja na gun shule okay so, mimi ni story nilikuwa napigiwa na mtu mwenye aliona desk mate yake na yayo oh, but na stahili kuongea haezi ongea because familia yake ameyeka at risk ye mwenyewe ana risk life yake so kama inatoka itoke na mtu mwingine lakini si ye. wow mm. so let us go back to your story so at 19 something happened yes eh tuambie ah uh, at 19 okay yo si jai share on camera yeah your parts but to say me tu nilipatana na watu wenye hawakuwa wazuri mm-hmm. and before okay huyu mtu hata sikwa namjua i was working elsewhere mm-hmm. but ni kama alikuwa me take interest in me na sikwa najua hakuwa in approach mm-hmm. so mimi i used to take photos of someone else's phone and post them because sikwa na smartphone naweza piga picha vizuri mm-hmm. so mimi sikwa na jiambia nafaa ku delete picha zangu so baadaye mimi ndio nikakuja nikaambiwa huyu alikuja kajitumia picha zako aliniomba simu akisema nataka kutuma mangoma akajitumia mpaka picha zako so mimi the next thing nilijipata kwa kina huyo mtu kwa mama yake na mfanyia kazi So nilikuwa namfanyia kazi na mtolea watoto huko watoto nasomea madhara na mpelekea watoto shule na mfanyia kazi ya nyumba and upon I was physically abused kabisa nilikuwa hata mama yake ananipiga so mtu alikuwa anakuja ananiteke advantage more than once mm-hmm. na haikukuwa rahisi tuseme tu maombi tu ndio ile inaitwa huko because hata nilikuwa namwambia narudi home Nataka kuenda kwetu hata naambia mama naniambia aenda. So nafika kwetu naoga. Mama naona mtoto wake amerudi, anaenda mpaka ananunua samaki. Mimi sitakula hiyo chakula. Narudi kwa nyumba yenye tulikuwa tunaishi, tulikuwa watu kama tisa. Yeye bwana wake na watoto wake kama sijua ngapi plus mimi sasa. Sana najipata siezi ka kwetu narudi kwake narudi kwake so ikafika point mama kaona si normal na akaambia bro hai shiro hivi venye anakaa kwa wenyewe hivi shiro ajazoea hapa kuna kitu inaendelea so my mom alikuwa naomba hata aliniambia aliomba sana because nakumbuka ndio nitoke huko hiyo mama alinieleza mama yangu ako na miaka ngapi nikamuliza kwa nini akaniambia okay nikamuliza kwa nini kwani uko na ngapi akaniambia mimi niko na futi nikamwambia basi ni mkubwa wako nikamuliza kwa nini akaniambia juu ni mara ya tatu amenitokea kwa ndoto so i think hapo ndio nilikuwa released i don't oh, know okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. so but by the time nilikuwa released okay nilikuwa nishapata ball na nilikuwa najaribu kuambia umama kenye ukijana wake ananifanyia but ni kama ilikuwa plan so iko kwa raisi na ni... so all this time uko kwa hii nyumba eh. ulikuwa unalipwa ama ilikuwa ni kukatwa si kukuwa kulipwa because si kusikoenda kwa hiari yangu ni nyumba ilikuwa tu na maneno mingi mpaka unaona nyungu chini ya kitanda azin hakukuwa mtu mzuri mpaka watu walikuwa namtembelea awatengeneze alikuwa huyo mama alikuwa wakitui eh yeah. alikuwa anatengeneza watu <laughs> so moza ikiwa uliitwa na nyungu kupitia ile picha ni kama ah So mimi ni sijui aliona akini approach sitaingia box mimi sijui aliona aje mm-hmm. so i think aliona to the best option ama maybe hata hakukuwa interested maybe yo mama yake 
spiritual aliona kitu maybe yeye aliona tu juu wako tu in the same spirit na mama yake akaona kitu yenye maybe mimi sijui akaona kitu anaweza nini anaweza nyakua i don't know so ulijipata huko aje as in siezi kuambia because si ati tulikuwa ina relationship but hapo sasa ndio alikuja anaanza kuniongelesha na muongelesha inakuwa hivyo but siku si ile ati hata mimi mwenyewe hata sasa inaweza aka i can't ebu tell me so ulienda through the mom ama ulienda through kijana through kijana okay but kijana na mabeshte zake kwa umbali ile twende sijui kwa kina nani na tika kuchukua nini Mm-hmm. ni venye staki kuataja majina ah, au staje majina yeah. but mkajipata huko huko yeah. so ukajipata unapeleka watoto wa wenyewe shule na unarudisha kazi sasa kutoka huko kwenye tunakaa mpaka round ya karibank round about mm. na wapeleka na wapeleka madhara inarudi nikirudi nasikia piki wacha viombo kuna wageni wanakuja tengeneza nyumba hapo hapo wanapigiwa simu huko kwa nyumba tunakuja so mi wageni walikuwa wanakuja naambiwa nikae nje kwa so, kuna mgeni mmoja alikuja nikatumwa maziwa. Si nikaendea maziwa nikaleta nikaleta juu ya meza. Na nikatoka. Ai, kutoka kukaa kama 5 minutes ndio nikajiuliza nimepeleka maziwa, nimeitishwa maziwa na sijaenda kupika chai. Acha nirudi nikapike chai. Kurudi napata maziwa na mwago ndani ya nyungu. Huyu mama anasema hivi, huyu anaje? Hey, huyu. Aja. Eh. Hey. Hey. And then <laughs> so, these two are okay. <laughs> So And what was your reaction? Nilirudi tu nje because hata hawakuacha ni kama hata hawakurealize nimeingia. Eh. Uh-huh. Love ilikuwa kanyumba kadogo kama bati ka single. Mhm. Uh-huh. So, hey, ilikuwa tu kafala ikaendelea. Eh, eh hey, nakwambia mimi hata sijui ni nini ilikuwa inafanywa but nakumbuka hata kuna time nikipanga niki panga nyumba nikapata kauzi kamefungwa ndani ya bag. Nikienda kuchukua nitupe msana wake akanipigia ndio wewe usichukue hiyo achana nayo vitu za madhia zigu zangu sasa hata ndio nilikuwa napigia mam story mama ananiambia ama ni wewe alikuwa amekufunga na yako kauli eh baby maybe wow. ndio watoto wake wakanini juu ju, alikuwa anajua kenye inaendelea na hakuna mtu anaweza kuambia na after nitoke huko nilikuwa napatana na vitu fani fani juu tunaishi njia moja na kwenye wako napatana nao nikiwa na mimba mtu ananiongelesha mpaka natoka mbio sitaki kumuona The next thing naenda na teleza na maganda watermelon mimi huyo na tumbu pa na niko na mimba So eh so eh kukuwa raisi na kumkata nikitafuta lomi hizi za mothers uroma nikapatana na mimi sikuwa nimewaona nilishtukia tu watu wanakuja kuniita ati hey, piki unajua wenye tulikuwa tunakupenda hata tunangojea huyu aka point tumbo yangu na nili, hapo niliona something is off because hata huo mtoto wake huo kijana wake venye niliambia mama venye huo kijana alikuwa anafanya alikuwa nakataa so ni kama walikuwa tu na plan huo kijana yeah. aletange watu mtu apate mimba na alikuwa mtu mkubwa kum, like older than you kimia ka eh okay eh yeah. mm-hmm. alikuwa mm, okay ni venye wanaume kutel ni ngumu but mm. kimia ka alikuwa mkubwa Okay. Eh. Yeah. But they were still living in the same house. Wote kwa nyumba moja plus mimi ni kama watu tisa. Wa wow. jilikuwa yeye, wanawake, huyo kijana ndiye alikuwa first born. Alafu kuna wasichana kama watatu. So hata kulikuwa na bwana wawili uh-huh. na mimi. Wow. Na vijana ni watatu plus huyu na mimi sasa. Na ulikuwa umehamia huko? Eh. Yeah. Okay. Na nikimwambia narudi kwetu ananiambia aenda. Kumbe ananiambia niende juu anajua sitaka. Na ulipoenda home wakaona you are expectant. What was your mother's reaction? Haikukuwa rahisi kwake. Okay, aku nionyesha as in vibaya because alikuwa aliona venye nilikuwa naishi haikukuwa kawaida. But n- alikuwa na stress sana because tunaona hata yeye ni a single mom. Mm. So alikuwa anaona alikuwa anaona pia mimi nimekuwa single mom na ni kama sijui vitu zinajirudia tu mm-hmm. so na maybe alikuwa na na ananitarajia manini expectations zingine maybe ni kwa married nini nini mm-hmm. na since nilikuwa nimesoma na nilikuwa na, najishikilia mahali kikazi mm-hmm. alikuwa na expect maybe nitakuwa stable mm-hmm. so haikukuwa rahisi kwake and your brother was here where what they did to you 
my brother ilikuwa ngumu sana kwake ku nini ku, ku realize mm. because hata kuna time nilikuwa nikikuja home bro ananichapa na ananifukuza inabidi nirudi kule okay ni kama rejection tu nilikuwa nimerushiwa rejection kabisa ni venye mm. tu mam kimaombi mm. ni stima ni stima sasa <laughs> ana wachoma eh hey, hey. wakimtokea kwa ndoto hiyo hata sijui nini lakini hey. maybe pengine waliona kume, kume nini hey. kumewaka moto but bro sasa haku okay bro pia ameokoka mm. but tuseme tu yuko hiyo level ya mam mm. so bro nilikuwa nakuja anaona natoka naenda na kama maybe wiki kama tatu alafu narudi sana kasirika ulikuwa wapi nini nini hey. ananichapa rudi kwenye ulitoka na yeye anafaa kufanya hivyo because sifai kuenda kulalalala nje. Eh but sile angenini angenisikiza because hiyo spirit tu ilikuwa angenisikiza. Alipojua uko expectant. Yeah. Alipojua ah uh, tuseme tu angenionyesha ako disappointed but niliona pia amekuwa disappointed na hajai nionyesha ati ana regret ama nili, ati nilikosea ati nimemesa ati mm. nimefika mwisho ati hataki kuniona mm-hmm. okay eh. well our viewer that's uh, just a preview of what we are just about to hear next the next phase is more you know tragic and she went through a lot we we'll go through her delivery and just uh, hang around and hear the rest of the story see you after the break Welcome back our viewer. My guest is Victoria Wanjiro and her story is a sad story. Just listen to it and get inspired. So, umeshika mimba you've carried to 9 months. So tell tell us the journey from delivery. Uh, could deliver nili okay ndio niende kujifungua mtoto wangu alifika mahali akaacha kucheza na alikuwa mtoto anacheza sana mm-hmm. mpaka nalala naona tumbo imehamia huku imehamia huku eh. na nikanyaga sipumui eh. so penye alinyamaza tu mara moja nikaona hapana mm-hmm. na ista yote alinyamaza because mm-hmm. amezaliwa yote ya Easter 4th mm-hmm. April so nikaenda hosi kwenda hosi nika nikaadmitiwa kwa nimitiwa sasa si ikakuwa nijifungue nikaleba for the whole night nikajifungua asubuhi mm-hmm. so asubuhi nikajifungua na nikapata tea but pale kwa kujifungua mimi juzi kwa naweza hata kupiga nduru mimi nilisukuma mtoto na akatoka so by the time daktari anakuja aliitwa na hao wenzangu hao wakipiga wow. nduru zao wakikuja kuangalia ndio akaona mtoto ametoka ame kwa kitanda so wakamtwanisha hizo venye hiyo procedure yote na nikapata tea na wakanishona wakaniambia nikalie maji ya chumvi so nikiwa kwa hiyo maji ya chumvi ndio nikaanza ku realize kuna vitu zinatoka mpaka nasikia kuna pressure na, na feel tu nikaa kuna vitu zinatoka mpaka nikauliza mama kwani niko na mtoto mwingine na sijui nasikia ni kama kichwa ya mtoto inanisukuma kabisa alafu ikatoka ndani ya maji nikaona kitu ya pink venye huku ndani ya mdomo kuna kaanga hiyo pink nikaona hiyo pink nikashika hivi kushika hata mama alishtuka tu akaangalia kando nikasema acha nirudishe because imetoka imehang si ati imetoka imeanguka chini kabisa so nikaona kama ilikuwa kitu ya kutoka kuanguka chini hiyo ingekuwa maybe ni kitu kingine sijui kama ki growth tu lakini venye imehang ni kumaanisha imeshikiliwa mahali sijui imeshikiliwa wapi acha nisukume tu nirudishe kurudisha tukaenda hosi mimi mam na bro bro hakai na sisi bataliitwa akatupeleka hosi hosi uh, kwenye nilijifungulia uh, daktari bei saa moja asubuhi tulikuwa hapo mm-hmm. mtoto wangu hata akomemaliza siku mbili daktari alikuja saa tisa ya jioni so niko na hizo shida zote bado na bleed hizo vitu venye zinatoka cho inatoka pia chokubwa cho ndogo sijui ni nini na nisumbua ba zinatoka tu zinatoka hata sisikizi kitoka mimi naamka napata tu nimejikojolea mimi ni mbaridi naamka napata ndio hiyo nimejipukulia nime, nime so na mimi sijui na the same time na bleed na vitu ndio hizo zinahang 
na kaa nikirudisha ndani so unaenda cho unajipanguza unarudisha na mtoto wangu ndio huyo bado ndogo eh daktari kokuja saa tisa jioni hata hakutaka kuniona naona sisi wenye wali ni examine wakaona ni kitu serious wakaweka kitabu yangu juu ya kila mtu ndio akifika anione haraka haraka so kufika akasema hataki kuniona niende mama Lucy bagathi ama Kenyatta na nikatolewa nje kutolewa nje mimi nikaambia nas basi muongeleshe niandikie referral ndio nikienda huko nisipange malaini sana juu venye niko hata kukaa chini ni shida ukisimama tena ni shida yani niko tu kwa hali mbaya hata hakuwa na huruma aliniambia hataki aezi niandikie referral ndio akiniandikia itabidi ni examine mimi niende tu cause alijua ni makosa yake ni kama eh. so si hiyo usiku tukaenda juu by the time anakuja na nini na hiyo maneno yote ilikuwa ishafika jioni tukaenda mama Lucy mama Lucy tena nikabukiwa gynecologist anakuja July na mimi nilijifungua June ep, uh, fe, April sorry saa alikuwa kuja July nikaona huko ni mbali sana siwezi ka from April to July na hizi vitu sielewi ni nini so ndio the following day tukaenda Kenyatta kwenda Kenyatta hata mtoto wangu alifika mahali ana hadha na amechenjiwa weza ha, hana amani anapelekwa huko anapelekwa huko na hiyo time yote tunazunguka mpaka na bro na ni mwanaume sasa hata nilikuwa na murumia na sema guy huyu sasa si atafikiria kuzani mashida tu tu niko na tu ni kama maybe mm-hmm. bibi yake akikuja kuoa bibi atakuwa affected mm-hmm. jua zile shida naona napitia mm-hmm. hata haelewi na ni mwanaume so anaona pia mama kwa na wewe eh na tuko na mtoto hakuna mtu mwingine unaezaachia mtoto so tukaenda Kenya hata wakakuwa on a go slow hawaezi ni nini niangalia nikaambiwa niende hosi nyingine nikaanza kuenda neema neema wananifanyisha physiotherapy mimi nafanyishwa therapy sijui nafanyishwa physiotherapy ya nini sijui shida ni nini ah niko na tu hapa ni, ni do tu inatumika sana na ni ile hata hatuna pia mtu hii amekuja expenses zimeongezeka na mama mtu ndio anaangaliwa juu so Mm, so ikabidi venye Kenya hata walirudi after mgomo ndio nikarudi bado hizo vitu zinatoka zinatoka tu na choi natoka na kila kitu na kuna mtu alikuangalia ama kutengeneza hiyo sasa hiyo ndio nilikuwa najaribu kufanyishwa physiotherapy na lazima ushonwe hizo vitu zishonwe ufanywe repair juu ni kama muscles zilikuwa zinazihold ndio zililegea sasa kama zimeholdwa na hizo muscles na ligaments na ligaments zikalegea si zinaanguka tu ulikuwa hiyo condition inaitwaje pelvic organ prolapse okay eh, so hiyo mm. prolapse ni kama hiyo kukollapse tu hizo vitu zilikuwa zinatoka tu so unapata bladder inatoka nini uterus inatoka cervix tena ndio hiyo huku rectum nayo ndio hiyo so zinatoka tu zote sasa hizo mi bado mimi ni mdogo sijai pata mimba nilikuwa naona watu wanapata mimba wanatoa mimi nikajiambia juu mimi naogopa Mungu sitatoa hii mimba mpaka nilikuwa nasema Mungu kama hii mimba ni ya kutoka acha itoke na njia zingine so penye niliona nafikisha mpaka miezi tisa naenda kujifungua mimba iko tu sawa nikasema he hiyo labda ni plan ya Mungu hata kama sielewi acha tu nikae nayo ju ile tu kuogopa Mungu but nilikuwa na option ya kutoa na marafiki pia hiyo nini pressure lakini sikufuata hivyo so after hizi vitu zote zinafanyika nikaanza kujiuliza maswali mingi sana Ju, niko mdogo sijai pata mimba mimi sielewi mtu anafaa kufanya nini mam hajai ona vitu kama hizi nani very strange eh, yeah. kabisa alafu Kenya ilikuwa imefanyika ndio nipate mimba so hata mtu aezi elewa kama ziko connected ama ni, ni negligence ya hosi mtu aezi jua ni nini aswa. so ukaenda Kenyatta hospital eh, so mm. kwenda Kenyatta ndio nika nika wakani examine wakaniambia ni, ni prolapse pelvic organ prolapse na wakaniambia zinafaa kushonwa juu muscles zimezishikilia ndio zimelegea sawa so, nafaa washone ndio zirudi kwa position yake so alizishwa na, na na time tofauti wakishona ni za bla, ya bladder wananipea time 
hizo nini i tissue iko ime regain elasticity yake imerudi sawa ndio warudi tena washone ya rectum sasa hiyo kohosia mume narudi huko unashona kwanza una dischargeiwa eh, so, so bado stool una pass na bado urine inatoka eh, bado uterus eh, inatoka na bado una bleed na bado una bleed so hata nikiadmitiwa hosi mtoto alikuwa na 2 weeks na tangu hiyo siku mpaka wa leo hata ukinifinya aje nilijaribu hata mtoto kunyonyesha maziwa iko aitoka of course you mtoto wangu aliacha kunyonya na wiki mbili kabisa mm-hmm. so nakumbuka nikiwa kwa ward wakasema siwezi admitiwa na mtoto sasa ikakuwa mama letange mtoto asubuhi ananyonyeshwa so mtoto mama akiwa na mtoto huu mtoto amelala nja akileta asubuhi wanamkataza pale kwa lift kuniletea mtoto ni mnyonyeshe ati angoje mpaka visiting hours. Huyo mtoto amekaa nje usiku mzima, asubuhi mzima, aka, akuje masaa sita saa saba ndio anakuja kukula. So nasa akaona huyo mtoto ataumia sana. Akasema mtoto aende atumie nani. Na akaanza kutumia. Na mtoto wangu ako na appetite. Ananunulio hiyo nani hata imalizi siku tatu aimalizi siku tatu inanunuliwa ingine ikafika mahali ikakuwa expensive mimi niko hosi ikabidi aanze kununuliwa maziwa ya KCC mm-hmm. ya KCC ina dilute hiyo inaweka maji mm-hmm. anapewa mm-hmm. so bado hizo vitu zinafanyika home na ni challenge pia ju mama mwenyewe ndiye anaweza kuja kuniona hosi na bro na ako na mtoto e, mm-hmm. so hata relatives walikuwa nakuja mmoja mmoja ju kila mtu ako busy shughuli yake mm-hmm. so penye mtu amepata time ndio anakuja. Mm-hmm. So wakashona hiyo blada nika discharge So ukaanza ukaacha kulik. Eh, mm-hmm. blada. But sijaiacha kabisa mpaka wa leo. Mm-hmm. Kuna venye tu you leak. So alafu uh, after a while nikaribukiwa date tena. Wakanishona sasa ya uter- ya rectum. Mm-hmm. Iyo pia ikafixiwa. Sasa kwa uterus pia walifix. Lakini after a while kaanguka tena. Oh Jesus. Wow. Kuanguka. Sa daktari akaniambia hivi venye inakaa labda utolewe. Labda nitolewe uterus na bado niko miaka 19. Ai, mimi nikamwambia daktari hakuna venye utatoa uterus yangu. Mimi kwetu nimelelewa na mom na bro. Mimi nilikuwa nataka family yenye watu mpaka uko nje wakae mpaka nje watu wengi kabisa mpaka <laughs> watu waki, watu wakipita <laughs> wanasikia hii nyumba iko na watu nilikuwa mpaka na admire familia zenye unaona unga ya ugali inapikwa tu mara moja inaisha yani wako tu wengi wanakulania wengi hivyo sasa alafu nimepata mtoto mmoja unaniambia unatoa uterus unatoa aje nikakataa nikamwambia mimi yangu utatoa hata afadhali ni shilingi nikisukuma tu ndani lakini hii ya utui. Akaniambia kuna option nyingine lakini ni expensive. Kuna mesh inaweza letwa kutoka Germany ifixiwe ishikilie. Mimi nikamwambia acha tufanye hiyo. Hata kama ni expensive mimi sina pesa najua vizuri hata na pesa lakini kwa imani nikamwambia acha tufanye hiyo. Na akanielezea akaniuliza kama naweza taka ifanywe lini nikamwambia mimi sijui itafanywa lini lakini itafanyika. So nikarudi home nikaelezea mam itukaanza fundraising kwa church na my friends na wapi wapi sasa hii mimi naenda PCA Kariobank South mm-hmm. so alini support sana hiyo mesh ikakuja na nikaekwa ilikuwa ina cost how much ah uh, hiyo kuileta hiyo nini yote ilikuwa 100 mm-hmm. Na sasa hizo hatujaleta cost ya kuwekwa na na daktari hiyo eh, yeah. yeah. procedure na kitanda Kenyatta hiyo mm-hmm. ni yote. Mm-hmm. So yote in total siji hata ilikuwa how much lakini najua ilikuwa above 100. Yeah. So mm, ikakuja ikaekwa na nilikujiwa kwa ward 6 asubuhi. Wakanitarisha na pale kwa kulalishwa mimi nilisikia hiyo alama ya saa moja ikilia na kawaida mtu afai kuwa nasikia ndio niliambiwa unafaa kuwa umelala kabisa na hiyo alama ikilia ndio wanaanza operation so wakaniongezea nini nikalala sasa hata nililala nikiongelesha nikiwapigisha story because huyo sajio anaitwa dr kisa pia ilikuwa birthday yake 
so hata alikuwa ananiambia i'm his lucky charm wow. because ni birthday yake hata hata niliona tu ni mtu akona big heart because al, angekuwa anafanya vitu vingine on his birthday angekuwa yeah. anapumzika yeah. lakini alichoose kuni nini wow. kuni attend wow. so sajari kafanyika hivyo na the whole day sanne bado sijaamka niko theta bado sijaamka nimelala tu sajari liisha nimelala sasa penye mimi nilienda kufungua macho hivi nilipata wamenizunguka kwa kitanda wameshikana mikono naomba wow eh so mimi hata naamka niko na mask hizo ma oxygen mask sielewi niko wapi na mpaka wananiambia unajua venye ulitusumbua wewe ulikuwa unataka wow. kuenda wapi kwa nini huko mm. nataka hii kazi ifanyike vizuri <laughs> i know the way wanakuambia <laughs> kwa utani <laughs> after you are back <laughs> eh na sasa hizo hata mimi nashindwa niliwasumbua aje <laughs> hata sijui niko wapi sijui kabisa kama nilimetoka ni theater ama bado niko ama niko kwa ward si mm. na wana tu niko kwa kitanda na waona hivi makabuti za white sawa wananiangalia tu hivi eh wow, what a nice team eh so na wakani will mpaka kwa ward mm-hmm. So kuni will kwa wal nika hiyo hiyo surgery ju, ilikuwa ni complicated na hawa kwa wamefanya tena Kenyatta mm. ndio ilikuwa ya kwanza. Oh. Eh, so wow. nilipewa madawa mingi za pain killer nipumzike tu juu. Hiyo uchungu ingetoka hapo ingekuwa uchungu rais because hata gynecologists wengine walikuwa wamekuja wame ku, kuonyeshwa venye inafanywa. Mm-hmm kuzu ni mtu amesomea nje nini nini mm-hmm. ngambo so anaona huko ikiekwa mm-hmm. akaona anaweza eka na ikakuwa anaona ni possible mm-hmm. so nikalala vizuri the following day asubuhi so ulikaa how long ndio kwa theater kwa theater tangu hiyo nilikujua saa moja na nikalali six na nikalalishwa hiyo saa moja mi nilitoka hapo nikiamka ilikuwa saa nne So nikitoka hapo ilikuwa means to after sunne. Okay. Na nilikuwa napelekwa kwa ward. Mhm. Sasa so, hata ukipelekwa kwa ward unasikia na assess wanasema, "He, kujua nipeleke ndio uh, yani hai, ananipeleka juu napelekwa na kitanda ya theater alafu badilishwe yuko kwa kitanda ya ward, mm-hmm. alafu kitanda ya theater irudishwe." Mm-hmm. So na assess waka, na ni wanawake wakaanza kusema watarudishe hizo vitanda ni riski nini nini. So waka request mwanaume mmoja huko kwa theater awalete wasaidie kuwaleta. Mm. So sikujua kwa nini wal, waliogopa kukua ku, kwa ward na in the whole way hiyo time. Lakini okay hiyo ni mambo tu sijui ya Kenyatta lakini so me the following day nikaamka ukawaida ukitoka surgery unaletwa ngo physiotherapist mm-hmm. wa kufanyisha mazoezi. Ndio kama kuna maalizo corrections hazikufanyika vizuri. Mm correctiwe tena kabla uja discharge yani waone kama unatembea ama nini mm. so mimi daktari kuletwa wakakuja kuna hawa daktari wa gynecologist na physio wakakuja kuni examine wanaambia Victoria shuka utembe pamoja na nurses mimi nawaambia mimi siwezi tembea miguu yangu ya left si iski sasa wakaona ni kama mchezo sijui mimi sijui aliona nini ama ni mm. familiarity Ju hizo surgery zingine nilikuwa nashuka tu natembea mwenyewe sikuwa na stress. So sasa hii nikiwaambia siwezi tembea, sijua aliona ni, ni kama naringa. Waka insist mpaka wakanisaidia kusimama. Sasa hizo niko helpless hata wakini, wakingangana kunishikania siwezi fight back. Ju kidonda ndio hii. Mm. Venye tu lishonwa. Sasa mm. umelala hivi mpaka wanangangana kukukalisha hivi kidonda na jikunja hivi. Mguu ndio hiyo. Ai wakaenda okay, kunisimamisha mimi na nilikuwa naambia kabisa nguo yangu ya left haiko nikaanguka chini uu uu na nimetoka theater jana usiku on that not hold your thought my goodness this is really getting really scary but don't touch that dial see you after the break Welcome back our viewer it's uh, the gorgeous woman show and uh, we continue with the rest of the story so to maliza on a very scary note so they force you to get out yeah okay na nikaanguka chini na nimetoka uh-huh. theater jana uh-huh. so kuanguka chini side moja hiyo kidonda kwenye alishona ikatokana na hawakuambia ule surgeon 
So mimi waliniokota mbio wakanirudisha kwa kitana na wakanifundisha wakanifunika wakaenda. Sasa mimi venye niliona na kaa na kaa kuna mtu anani attend. Ai nikoona hapana. Nikoona wa sajion mkubwa jua kuja. Nikoona wajamwambia. Na juu nilikuwa na namba yake juu ya hiyo process ya ku import mesh na nini. Nikamwambia mimi daktari nimeangushwa. Na venye naona naona ni kama haujui. Alikuja hapo kama amechanganyikiwa ta I could tell hakukuwa kazi. Mm. Juu hata alikuja na daktari mwenzake na akakuja haraka haraka kuniangalia alafu hiyo time yote nimeangushwa hivyo niko nazo catheter nini za cho nurses hawajani change nini ni so aliwatokea tu mara moja venye aliona daktari because yeye ndio mkubwa wa gynecology department yote ya Kenya hata ya department ya gynecology wakanisafisha haraka haraka kukuja kuniangalia akaona kidonda imetokana imeachana kabisa akaniambia sasa hapa labda tukurudishe theater tukushone tena mimi nilimwambia mimi sirudi theater and the nurses hawakumwambia walikufunika tu wamenizoea wanajua mimi naongea mimi natembeanga mimi ni mtu wa kujikaza juu nilikuwa hata ndio nimetoka theater wenzangu uh, okay naanza kukuwa strong kidogo wenzangu wananituma endo nifanyie hii niletee maji moto fanya hivi mimi na nawashughulikia na, na tu so hii sijui aliona mimi sijui waliona ni kama na pretend so daktari hata daktari alikuwa anakujanga kuniona karibu kila sawa ananiambia eh rafiki yako alikuwa hapa ah. hasa una mnaongea anga nini unamwambia anga nini unamwambia wenye sisi ni wabaya mimi naambia hapana So sijui ni kama walikuwa naona wanakosea lakini hawafurahi wenye daktari anakuja kuniona wanaona ni kama nitawasema. Na wajui how special that case was to eh, you. Hata wanajua jua kwa na file mm. lakini ni ignorance tu. Okay. Juu hiyo kitu ndio hata madaktari wengine wakuja wako in attendance ni kitu ilikuwa imepangwa sana na ni kitu ilikuwa imewekwa hata kwa history ya, ya Kenya hata hiyo procedure yote na nini juu. I think hata walikuwa na record tu minus uso. Yeah. So na daktari kukuja akaniambia kidonda imetokana nirudishwe theater nishonwe nikamwambia mimi sitarudi theater. Karibu ni, nikose kuamka alafu niniambia nirudishe huko wacha ipone kama kidonda. Na nika aka, 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 aka kubali tu. Niko zata yeye mwenyewe hiyo time yote ndio amekuwa akinifanyia hizo surgery. Alikuwa anaona mimi ni mtu wa kujikaza. So venye nilimwambia nitakuwa sawa aliku alifeel tu okay aku, aku ni push sana ati lazima lazima eh, so ah uh, yeye alifanya mpaka nikakaa Kenya hata for another whole month juu ya hiyo mguu hata nakumka nikidistiajua mtoto wangu alikuwa ananijua nilikuwa naenda kumbeba na piga nduru na nikataa anaenda kwa chochote yake mguu ilirudi mguu ili, ilikaa sana mguu nilienda nikafanywa test nje ya Kenya hata nikakuwa ni nazi zime zimepotea ni kama zililaliwa wakiweka ile mesh so ikakuwa ni nitakuwa nakuja nini clinic ya gynecology clinic ya neurology kwa kwa nerves na physiotherapy kwa kufanyishwa hiyo mguu mazoezi na hiyo clinic kila clinic ni pesa na kwa sasa hiyo unatembea na miti ama unatembea sasa hiyo natembea na, na ka, nini hii walking stick ehe uh-huh. So nakumbuka hata kuna time juu singeza hata enda cho nikiwa kwa ward naambia wa manases niletee bedpan wanakuja wana, wanaenda kumwaga hawaniletei so kuna time nimengangana na hiyo kijiti nikajivuta mpaka cho na nilikuwa kwa room ya kona nikafuata hiyo hallway mpaka kwa cho kwenye iko nikitaka kwenda cho nikaanguka kwa cho so najaribu kusimama hakuna mtu mwingine kwa hiyo cho Najaribu kusimama mguu hata si, si feel inaenda tu hivi. Nikajivuruta ni, na magoti tu kama nashika hiyo kijiti. Nikaenda nikajishikilia kwa sink, nikasimama na sink nikashika nini hiyo stick yangu. Hata nil, nilikuwa nishajiendea cho. So hata nilikuwa inafika Jumama alikuwa ndio kuje kuniona anaacha mtoto dekia. Na sande dekia hazifunguliwi so alipo, how did you recover from that uliumia tena sikuumia okay sikuumia ile sana lakini hiyo mguu kupotea hivyo na umezoea kutembea na miguu zote mbili no like hiyo fall wakati ulianguka kwa choo 
kwa chuo a yoni lijiamsha tu na nikatembe walikukujia ama hata hakuna hawakujua sasa hivi wenye naiongea ndio wanajua na mam ndio niliambia but they were not nice to you kabisa wow so <laughs> so mimi nika nikangangana nikajivuta mama alikuwa sandi hakuji ju sandi deki haifunguliwi anakosa kwa kuacha mtoto mm-hmm. haezi ruhusiwa kuingia na mtoto so mimi nikijua sandi imefika sikuli Juu nikikula mam kama hakuji akikosa mtu akuachia mtoto yeye sandi nitasikia kwenda chuo kubwa na hawatanisaidia na bedpan juu mama alikuwa anakujanga anaimwaga na ananiletea juu wale wakimwaga imeenda hivyo na, na umesavyo uju umesavyo lunch lazima ukule matunda pia zinafanya unaenda cho sana na una kwa kuenda cho sasa so, ikakuwa kama mama hakuji siezi nini siezi kula ndio ni siende cho so eventually ukakuwa discharge wumbi lirudi eh uh, blood ikarudi ikarudi kila kitu ikarudi cervix ikarudi sasa mgundo ikapotea mm-hmm. mguu kupotea sasa ni discharge kwa wheelchair but nilikuwa nakuja kufanyisha hizo mazoezi na kuna dawa nilikuwa nimeandikiwa size dawa zikakuwa tena ni expensive na zipatikani na kila wiki niko Kenyatta clinic tofauti tofauti hii ni clinic ya 700 hii ni ya 500 hii ni ya 600 transport pia mtoto wako home kila wiki ikakuwa hata siezi afford zile dawa sasa ilifika mahali dr Kisa hata alikuwa ananinunulia hizo dawa za, za nerves because zilikuwa za kuamsha nerves na hata kama unafanyishwa mazoezi lazima tupiwe pia hizo dawa Salikuwa. So wakati kidonda ilipasuka were you being nursed ulikuwa unatengenezwa vizuri ndio ipone eh ndio maana nilikuwa nakuja hiyo clinic ya, ya gynecology ndio wa, wa, wana monitor kila kitu wow. eh and how are you now ah uh, sai sai tuseme tu siko vibaya venye nilikuwa mm-hmm. but kuna venye tu pia mimi uliki urine mm-hmm. na siezi enda mahali kama sijavaa pad uh-huh. Eh juu naweza kusimama harufu ibaki saa zingine hizo pads pia kwa phone ni ngumu alafu hiyo mesh venye niliekwa niliambiwa nisiaibeba hata mtoto wangu nisiaibeba kitu mzito so imekuwa challenge hata kikazi unaenda unauliza kazi maybe ni ya super nitafika mahali uta need kupanga vitu kwa shelf ama ku offload vitu huwezi bebana eh, unaenda waelewi eh utaanza kuelezea nilifanya hivi nilifanya hivi wataona kila mtu ataanza kusema naumwa na mgongo hata mimi mimi na umangwa na kichwa mimi na umangwa na mguu so watu watu wataanza kunini juu yako so itakuwa nikao na tunapeana excuse na kazi yenyewe unahitaji so hakuna mtu anakunini anakuvumilia sasa ilirudi kabisa mguu ilirudi lakini hii uh-huh. choo haijairudi kabisa uh-huh. na diapers ni expensive za watu wazima so pia inabidi ukae na diapers N- ni venye siezi afford diaper ndio maana natumia pad okay but na can ki change na change to okay so eh, ju, kwanza kan ni kombali na home juu hiyo kulik na what they say by the, you can be done another surgery to fix that sasa hiyo ilikuwa iangaliwe alafu corona ikaingia okay. corona venye ilikuja hiyo clinic nilikuwa clinic 66 mm-hmm. ikafungwa until further notice mm-hmm. juu iko karibu na hiyo infectious disease unit eh. alafu protocol size imekuwa tightened eh. so at a theater okay. uh, juicy emergency kama mbeleni eh. ni, ni kitu tu naweza ngojea but sai na depend on pads yeah whether niko na periods ama sina ndio hiyo kulik na imekuwa challenge ju siko kazi i know eh mom pia ya na struggle mhm bro pia as in waliji nini waliji toa sana kwa hiyo nini ugonjwa yangu mpaka mtu aka unapata mama na baki na madeni i know bro akabaki uh, amerudi nyuma somehow because ya kunini sana mm. so imekuwa tu ni struggle mtu wengi huyu anaendelea ku grow an, yeah. atakuja kuingia shule yeah. fee hata ijulikani itatoka wapi mm, mungu atakupatia mm, yeah, so doctor mwenye mnawaka na ye, doctor Kisa is he still willing to work with you ama sasa ulitolewa kwake ukaenda kwa mwingine 
okay dr kisa sikutolewa kwake mm-hmm. hata mara mingi nilikuwa nikienda hiyo clinic 66 mm-hmm. wana madak- manase some assistant hey, kanda wao umekuja hata rafiki yako leo yuko so as in awange ni peana kwa mikono ya mtu mwingine okay. so yeye ndio angeniangalia mpaka an discharge mm-hmm. na juu bado siku discharge wa juu corona iliingia na i condition iko kwa i kulik kwa mimi kabisa mm-hmm. so saina survival niyo ku nini but, but, but daktari anasema it can be fixed eh, uh, kukua fixed i think inaweza kuwa but sijui nitakuwa fixed aje tena juu kama ile fixiwe vile na bado ikatoka okay. mimi naona ni kama ni kitu tu itakuwa na recur juu hata venye cervix ile fixiwa mm-hmm. haiko venye nakuanga ndani mm-hmm. inakuanga tu kwa opening ya nini ya vagina unaweza uiona hata eh hata naweza isikia hata naweza guza tu hata nikioga unaweza iguza eh, so okay. vitu zimechange sana but usikiangi infection or anything ah uh-uh. ah okay vitu zimechange sana okay na bado mimi ni mm-hmm. sasa hata inakuanga hata marafiki zangu hata kama wananiambianga it's ungodly and, and all mimi naambianga tu sionangi kama naweza kuwa married because how will I start explaining myself to to someone yeah. kumwambia ati i have a child yeah. niko deformed kwa hii njia njia hivi na hivi because hiyo njia uzazi haiko wenye mtu wa kawaida anafaa kukua Can because that I feel kuna difference as in imekuwa tu what I would uh, maybe encourage is don't give up mm. we serve a god of miracles and there is nothing he cannot do mm. Uta, right. you will do what you can seek for medical help mm. but continue believing god because kama mungu anapatia mtu kama sara mm. who was 90 anampatia mtoto anabeba then there is nothing impossible with god but it's also good like if there is a way it can be fixed to your bladder to stop leaking and everything once you know as gorgeous women let us know we mm-hmm. can see how we can support you because why not you are a gorgeous woman that has been through pain and uh, you've refused to do what other women do you had many options kutoa mm-hmm. mtoto but you refused yeah. so mtu akitaka ku maybe just send you some money for pads or for just uh, whatever they, they can be of support wanaweza ku recharge Ah uh, pingine ni peane namba yangu ya simu. Okay. Eh namba yangu ya simu ni 0748 Is yeah. tena? 0748 yeah. uh, ni Victoria, Victoria Wanjiro. Wanjiro. Yeah. Wow. Our viewer what a sad story but she's still a work in progress and the best thing you can do is just pray for her and if you can send her just a hundred bob for pads a day or something as we are waiting to hear what the doctors will say after this covid season and we pray that it shall find a solution because god is a faithful god from us and the gorgeous women family and city and tv is shalom god bless you bye bye